In this video, we learn how to select columns from a data frame, but before we have to import pandas as PD as always, then we import our Titanic data frame and uh, assign the variable Titanic. And we will have a look here at the first five rows. We already know this. And then let's assume that we are only interested in the age column. So we want to analyze in the age of all passengers that are aboard um, the Titanic. And we can do this by writing Titanic here. So that's our data frame. And then we open a square bracket and then we pass the label of our column that we want to select. So in this example, it's um, age and we have to pass it in quotation marks. So now here we select um, the age column. Let's run the cell here. And here you can see we get all values within the H column at the same order as in our data frame. And still on the left here, we have the index labels of our data frame. So at index position uh, zero or label zero, we have um, 22 as an age. And at row label one, we have um, a passenger with uh, 38 years old and so on. And we can also check the, the data type here of our column. So let's copy and paste, and then let's check um, the data type. And here we get the panda series. So the panda series is also a data type or a class within the pandas library, and it's a one-dimensional labeled array. So we can see here we have, as in a list or in a one-dimensional NumPy array, one sequence of values, so we have one dimension here, and still here on the left we have a label. And as I said before, so the series is also a class or data type which has uh, specific attributes and uh, methods, which we will learn later. And most of the methods and attributes are quite similar to a data frame. So there are some methods and attributes that we can only apply with the panda series and the other way around, there are some methods and attributes that can only apply to pandas data frames. So now what if we want to select a column, but uh, we want to still have it as a data frame. So let's paste again here our column. And if we want to have a data frame instead of a series, we can pass inside this back brackets our H column um, with another spec bracket here. So we have double spare bracket and if we run this here, then we can also see from the layout uh, that uh, this could be a data frame. And let's copy and paste and let's check um, the type here. So in this manner, we have still a data frame by having two spare brackets here. Yeah, and depending on what you want to do with um, the column, you can either select it as a panda series or as a data frame. All right, so now what if we want to select uh, two columns? So let's assume we want to have um, the H column and the sex column. So we try to do this by passing H and sex uh, in within um, here the spare bracket. And here we get an error message. So something is wrong here. And the solution is uh, that uh, if we want to select many columns, we have to pass them uh, as a list into our spare brackets. So we have to pass in the list with age and sex to our spare bracket. And let's see what we get here. Now we get here a data frame with um, the age column and uh, the sex column. And uh, still on the left side, we have um, the row labels. And we can also rearrange here the order of the columns. So let's copy here and paste again. We can rearrange in the order of the columns if we change in the sequence here in our list. So let's say we want here the sex column before the age column. We can do this. So now we have um, first uh, the sex column, then the age column compared to here. And of course, we can also select uh, yeah, multiple columns. So let's copy and paste. And we can also include here within our list um, the fair column. 
now we get a pandas data frame with uh, three columns, uh, sex, age, and fair. And uh, they have the same order as in the original data frame. So let's check again the original data frame, the first rows. And there we can see, so the first row, we have a male, which is 22 years old and paid a fare of 7.25 pound or dollar. And uh, the second row here, we have a female, 38 years old, and the female paid 71.2 dollars or pounds. So you can see here the order of our rows in, in our slice here is exactly the same as in the original data frame. And there's a second way to select one column. So either we do this by passing our column within the spare brackets, or we can just uh, use the pandas attribute dot and then uh, the name or label of um, the column. So for example, H here. So we have H as a column label and automatically in our data frame, there is in the attribute dot H. So let's see what we get here. Yeah, and we actually got the same panda series with our H column. So here we have all the values of uh, our H column and also here on the left side, um, the labels. And last but not least, we can check if um, both alternatives are yeah, actually the same. So we can check if um, here our series uh, that we created with um, the attribute H equals and then we can pass in the second alternative so titanic and passing h and we get a true here so the method equal checks whether the panda series titanic.h is yeah actually the same as in the panda series and that we created here with spare brackets and it's actually a matter of taste if you select a column within the attribute or the spare brackets and later we will learn that there are some minor differences. However, for just uh, selecting a column, um, both works in the same way. And in my opinion, the uh, attribute is in sometimes a bit more comfortable. So if you type here Titanic dot, and if you want to select, uh, let's say the embarked column, we press M. And then we benefit from the tab completion function. So now if we press uh, the tab key, then Python automatically checks uh, which attributes are available and uh, sees um, that there is in the embarked column. And uh, there we have here the embarked column as a panda series. So this is quite comfortable actually. All right, so now we have finished uh, this session and in the next session we learn how to select rows. Hope to see you there, bye.